And so now your story is on the big screen. And so first off, what what is that like? How, how do you feel someone portraying you and your story? And uh, Eric Close has actually been a guest on our show. So love Eric. He's an awesome actor. But but what has this, this experience been like for you? Weird. I mean, <laughs> put it in one word. It is so weird because, I mean, you – you have a backstory. Everybody's got a backstory. Life is is never, you know, the rosy colored pictures with unicorns and butterflies. I mean, life is tough. So it's weird that they're telling my story because it's just my wife and my story. It, it, there's nothing to, to us incredible about it. That, but it shows that God can use anybody. If he can use an idiot like me, imagine what he could do with guys like Eric Close and, and, and you. So it, it was so cool to to work with Eric. He spent about 10 minutes with me and goes, oh, I think I got you figured out, coach. And we became immediate <laughs> friends. And we, we call each other every week now. We're busting each other and just, it's great. Uh, the girl who played uh, my wife, uh, Amy Acker plays Denise. She was phenomenal. They had the best chemistry on. And she spent days with my wife learning her mannerisms, uh, the facial expressions that everybody's going to see because you know, when your wife gives you that look, yeah, yep. she nailed yep. that. I was like, Oh yeah, they're good. So, um, the guy who directed it, Harold Cronk was awesome. He's a really good friend of mine now. And it just was a, a huge eye opener to, to see how films develop and, and how everything works and to see people that are, you know, playing all these hard parts in your life. It, it was tough. It was tough to sit there. I can't, I couldn't be there for some of the scenes and um, uh, filming some of the scenes and my wife couldn't be there for other ones. We had to deal with a lot of junk that we've never dealt with. We just moved on from it. So now it's all right there on the big screen and we're not hiding anything. So it's, it's not the rosy tale of, uh, you know, it, it, it's real life. It, it shows the highs and lows. It's, it's an emotional roller coaster for people. They're going to laugh. They're going to cry. They're going to be pissed. I mean, you're going to hit everything in this movie. Gosh, it looks phenomenal. The the trailer looks great. I can't wait to watch the the, the full movie. Uh, it's called Average Joe, and uh, yeah, I'm I'm fired up about it. So you, you mentioned it, it was difficult to to watch some of these scenes. Has it provided healing for you going through this process of of putting the movie together and then watching it ultimately? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, a lot of things uh, my wife and I have never have discussed. Some of the things in her past, we we know. Our past is there, but we never sat there, there and discussed it. And what does that mean to us today? And how do we feel about sharing this with, with um, the world? And it, I tell you, it, it brought us a lot closer. We had these discussions about some of the things, some of the fights that we had that we never shared our emotions. We just fought it, made up and moved on, but we never really talked about it. But it's really solidified our faith and really just shows what God can do. The power of a praying wife, uh, being steadfast in your faith. And really just when you look at the big picture, um, when you see it on the big screen, it's like, wow, God is so amazing. You get to see it all in its glory. That's that's only God, man. That is just the coolest thing. Gosh, and to see his hand through it all and even a little thing, like you, you mentioned, part of your story was watching Facing the Giants, and that had a key impact on you. And here you are, years later, putting together a, a somewhat of a football movie uh, and, and, and a, a powerful story in, in, in that realm. So, uh, so that's cool, too. So all those little things and, and to see, yeah, God continue to, to work in and through you. And, and so you, you mentioned this a little bit, but, but what do you hope is the, the, the message and what you know, the audience leaves with? What, what's what's the hope? Well, yeah, uh, there, I, I, I really didn't know until I watched it a few times. Um, and, and what I really want people to walk away with is a newfound appreciation for being an American and what the Constitution means to to us as as a society. And really, it opens our eyes to that. Also uh, about um, our relationships, how they're not always nice or messy and they're complicated. So this. This will inspire people in their marriages to stick stick it out and and have that family aspect of things. And also, um, the third thing has got to be your faith in the Lord and really that you got to trust in God. And hopefully, it'll bring people closer together to to uh, their relationship with the Lord. So, hopefully, it'll bring all three of those things and really motivate and inspire people when they walk out just 
feel like I, I think like a Rocky movie, you know, you walk out of there and you're ready to take on the world. I want people to, to be bold in their faith and, and uh, proud to be an American and flex their, their constitutional rights the way that it should be done.